Like, is this really my bathroom? Like, how did we go already from what this looked like to this? I know it's been a couple weeks we've been working on this bathroom and we still have a ways to go, but I just almost am at the point where I am forgetting what it looked like to begin with because it is so absolutely dreamy. There is no going back. This color is everything. It is absolutely the perfect color. Okay, today I have the feat of getting all of the old stuff from the tiles off the wall on the wall that will be behind the vanity. That wall needs to get painted green as well as the wall behind the toilet. But I can't really get the wallpaper off behind the toilet until we remove the toilet. But my worry is, is if I remove the toilet and I can't get the toilet back in with the flooring and I don't have Philip's help, then we will be without a toilet. And that is not an option. <laughs> So I'm going to start small. I'm going to start with the big wall that needs to be kind of broken down of all of the grout and mortar and things that were on there from the tile. Work on that wall. See if I can get that wall completely cleared. If I can do that, then I can backtrack this flooring and see if I can kind of get my way across this way. But time will tell if we will have a bathroom by the end of the day or a toilet by the end of the day. Okay, I have a whole bunch of different things going on right now because I need to do the other coat on the cabinet here, but I've just been really wanting to leave everything drying in between and don't want to be in here with the smell of that marine paint. And so I'm going to just move the vanity out of the way and then clear this space. I have so many stages going on in this bathroom at the same time, but it's kind of the only way to do it. If I'm going to do it in any type of time management way when I'm working in here by myself. What I'm going to do right now is backtrack the flooring. I was about to mop it and then I thought, well, that's just silly. There's really no point because I have tons of drywall dust and stuff going on. But I need to take the flooring back because this is where the plumbing was when the bathtub was in the middle of the room here. <laughs> and so I'm just going to take it back and then see if I can fill in those spots because our bathtub is going to go in front of the window here. And so those holes are not going to be there. And the, well, we don't want them there, obviously. It actually looks right down into the pantry. And then we'll be able to finish this. We've had lots of questions about where our toilet is. It's right here behind this door. I've just spared you the vision of our old horrible toilet. But I just think this looks so great. And it's gonna look beautiful with this white cabinet. And I cannot wait to show you what I'm gonna do right up there above the bathtub, looking out at the garden. It's going to be amazing. I'm looking at you. I'm trying to get your attention. Can I come close? I don't know how to play this Our hands touch once or twice Feeling kind of hypnotized I'm looking at you and I feel the tension You know this could be like heaven I am right here doing my best to make you feel like I do And just for a second You're looking at me Making me feel like maybe you want this too Give me your attention busted trying to do flying by myself. It's not funny. <laughs> he says it's not funny. Flores his job. <laughs> he has no voice. He feels like garbage. He's so not feeling well. I'm just trying to be sneaky up in the back there. <laughs> Listen, I have a voice. You have a voice. Yeah, you do have a voice. <laughs> he has a say. I don't know if he has much of a voice right now. So I just need to click this floor piece down. I have a whole pile of ones I'll be able to reuse. I only can't use the two end pieces and I'll be able to cut them off and then be able to use them somewhere else because we're gonna have to piece things together as we make our way across the floor anyways. Okay, got the hole covered. Managed to get that far before I got busted. <laughs> I put back the pieces that I took out, was able to fill it in with the pieces that were back here. And now we can continue on with the skid of flooring that we have. All of my sock dust is all over the floor. I just keep leaving myself footprints, but that's okay. We'll worry about all that in the end. I avoided showing you the toilet for a few bathroom videos, but this is the toilet. It's probably original to the house. It's super old. 
The fixtures on the back are really yellow, like the from an older type seat. The top of the bowl here has a broken spot. It flushes when it feels like it. It's kind of a pain in the neck. We did go and get a bigger hose here the other day. It started leaking, but we weren't quite, quite ready to put the toilet in. But because we bought the taller toilet, we knew that we would need a longer hose to be able to have it go from the floor up to the bottom of the new toilet bowl. So we've drained this of the water and we're going to remove it now so that we can do the flooring and put the new toilet in. I like to think that the toilets at the old house were really bad, but this toilet's a zillion times worse. Oh yeah, this toilet's gross. And it's not our filth. <laughs> like some of it is, but not all of it. So when we moved in, we were like, we should probably change the toilet out because it looked like someone had repeatedly been cleaning the inside bowl of the toilet with one of those wiry SOS pads, maybe like a steel wool pad, because there's no enamel left in the toilet. So no matter how much you clean it, it just looks terrible. But without doing the bathroom, we thought, why are we gonna change out the toilet? So we've left it this whole time. It's now leaking and not working properly. So perfect timing. It didn't want to be left out of the renovation and we're gonna change it out. Is it dripping water? <laughs> That's just clean from the back of the pool. It's just hot for water. It's just hot for water. Okay. Okay, here, let's see if it fits in here. I hate toilets. Oh, I've never been happier to see a toilet go. So I'm not sure if you can notice, but this wall in the back goes in like this and then over like this. It's not a flat wall. And the whole time we lived here, I never noticed and bought some photo ledges that were gonna go there, which, but the wall's not flat. So that's our concern with the new toilet is, is it going to fit behind? Because this is where the seam is. <laughs> Hopefully, right? Okay, so let's get this unsealed. Yeah. I would high five you, but I think I'm gonna move this out of the way. Like it's one thing when it's, in your, when it's your own toilet, but when it's not your toilet, I mean, it's been our toilet for a bit, but it was bad before it was our toilet. <laughs> It's a crappy job, but someone's got to do it. It's now a good time to tell you that I have to go pee. <laughs> yeah, I got to go to the restroom too. I didn't want to move. We made sure to tell both the kids, we're like, we're taking the toilet off, but didn't think of our own selves. Okay, so Philip had a really good idea. His idea is to put the new toilet on without the wax, A, make sure it fits, but also, we're going to have to do the cuts for the flooring. And it's gonna be really hard to make those cuts if you don't know the shape of it. So what we're thinking is, is we'll put this on top, trace around the toilet, so that leaves the marks on the floor where the toilet's going to go. And then we'll be able to cut our pieces to that, put the wax on, and then put the toilet in place. We're just so excited for a shiny, clean toilet bowl. It's clean. <laughs> Said no one ever there excited to clean a toilet, but. So you can see with the black marker there, I did all the way around. That way when we lift the toilet, we'll be able to cut the flooring to the lines. Okay, so I've spent about the last hour trying to custom cut out. You can see my pile of cardboard and paper templates, my Sharpie, a bunch of things trying to get the exact shape of the toilet cut out. All of the slats, each individual piece, like this had to be a piece, this is a piece, this is a different piece, and then this is one solid piece. And it was not easy to cut out, but I finally got past the toilet part. And then it's kind of straight sailing mostly from there, but oh my word, that took me way longer than I had anticipated. I could keep going with the floor, but I'm too excited to get the toilet in. And I know that I can work my way across the rest of the evening here as we go. I'm glad that we got that hole filled from the tub plumbing, but this was quite a project to get that cut around. Not to mention this center post right here, 
had to have a spot to be able to actually get to putting the post through. That was incredibly tricky because it's soldered on. This top part will unravel, but you can't just slide it through a hole that you drill because then you're gonna have a really big overage of the hole that you're gonna see from the flooring underneath underneath and you don't want it to look like that. Okay, so I haven't put the wax on yet, but the toilet fits into the spot that I cut, which is exactly what I was trying to do. There is a tiny little space right there with some overages. I probably can just scoot the toilet this way just a little bit, but it's gonna have to have a caulking silicone or whatever around the bottom anyways, a white beading, so I don't think you're ever gonna see it. Okay, we put the wax on the bottom of the toilet. Our flooring's cut to what we want it. <laughs> And We've got our new bolts, anchor bolts on there. So we're just going to do all the bolts and everything. And then... I am sitting at the Trying to forget All the fun we used to have Dreams to pick you up. I just wanna make it right. I know all about your troubles. Wanna drown into your eyes. Now the high toilet test. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going down. My feet don't touch the ground. Okay. It's all around an adult toilet. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, honey, I'm stuck again. <laughs> Why did we get this toilet? Aw. Our YouTube family members told us we were not getting any younger and that we needed an extra tall, tall toilet. <laughs> yeah, but look how short I am. The seat feels weird because it doesn't feel normal. <laughs> yeah. Short family problems. We just bought. Too tall of a toilet. I'm sure the kids' legs are gonna dangle at the bottom of the toilet. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna fall in this toilet seat. The toilet seat feels so different. It's amazing how you get used to I one like, toilet seat. I don't like, I don't like anything about this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, it's a nice toilet. Is no slam no toilet sl feet. I was gonna say, thanks. Oh, <laughs> I need to break it before we get to curse in the toilet. <laughs> I oh my know, goodness I gracious! No oh, slam. Get those caps on. Oh, I'm so excited to clean this toilet. <laughs> Since the toilet that we've had has been so stained from like the people before and they've had no enamel in it, when you clean it, it just doesn't look like you clean the toilet. And so I am always the one that does the toilet because I just am like, it's the only way that I can get it clean with the way that it is. And so this is gonna be much easier and it's gonna mean that it's actually like properly sanitized and cleaned and done properly, which I'm excited about. So I was doing my wallpaper as usual and I was like, what day is it? And then, I found a number on the wall. <laughs> There's a phone number on the wall. Maybe I shouldn't show it or all of our YouTube family members are going to call this number. Yeah. So naturally. <laughs> naturally. You have to see who's on the other line. <laughs> Why would someone write their number in my bathroom? <laughs> so behind the wallpaper is this phone number and it says 1902. So we know it's a Nova Scotia number, but we're going to call and see whose phone number this is. Okay, what is our prediction? Like, what do we think this is? Like, is this the wallpaper company? I have no is idea. Is this the hardware store? Is this the person that installed the wall? Yeah, I'm hoping it's the person that installed the wall. Oh my goodness, okay, ready? Yeah. Is it? Dang. Well, we will call okay, back wait, later. Wait, but the kids said, hold on, let me try that again. Phone number came up as private the other day. I don't know why. So let's show my caller ID. Um, I wouldn't answer if it was private. private? Number. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Let's harass these people now. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Oh, 
I wonder if it's no one. Oh, don't get the number out. <laughs> <laughs> they can see it on the wall. Everybody spam this number. <laughs> don't spam yeah. this number. Okay, we'll try again later. I think it will be really funny to figure out who's on the other line and then like, why is your phone number inside my walls in my house that I'm fixing up? <laughs> Just funny because we really don't know how long that wallpaper's been there. I'm guessing it was probably from the people before. It's not like from 1899 because it's pretty modern wallpaper, but still kind of funny to see who would be there. <laughs> so we didn't get as much done today in the bathroom as we had hoped to, but that's totally okay. The big thing is, is that we got Philip back into helping with the renovation. So I think that was an accomplishment in itself. He's still really not feeling well, so... Big round of applause for coming in and helping me. I don't think I could have done the toilet on my own, not because I don't know how to install a toilet, but doing the cuts and getting everything perfect and just having two brains thinking about how you're going to make these cuts when you literally have angles on all the different corners and then also the shape of underneath the bowl and then a random pipe that goes into the ground that you have to somehow put magically in the middle of a piece of flooring when there's no way to put it in the middle of the piece of flooring. It was just one of those things where two people to do it together was making it that much easier and more fun. So that's great because, I mean, it's not that exciting installing a toilet by yourself. So I'm loving, i just looking around thinking like, yes, we have such a mess going on with the renovation in this room right now. But I can just see all these like glimpses of how absolutely dreamy this space is turning out. And he cannot wait to put everything in and reveal this in the end. It's going to be absolutely amazing. And it's come so far already just since we started working on it. We're going to literally yeet the old toilet out the bathroom window <laughs> and just be done with that old toilet. So I'm happy that we're doing that. I'm so excited. I have some new feet coming for the bathtub. So thank you so much to Jennifer Holmes for sending those. I'm so excited to get them in the mail. I can't wait to show you what they look like. Philip and I tonight are going to finish the floor and I'm going to tackle finishing all of the puttying to rectify this terrible wall that I've been working at literally for six and a half hours <laughs> throughout the day. We also got the wallpaper and stuff off behind the toilet. So that needs to be puttied and rectified so that I can finish painting this like half of the bathroom and cutting the molding. So Phil's gonna help me do the molding, kind of miter cuts up there and get everything done in that retrospect so we can move on to the next stages of the bathroom because I'm dying to show you what I'm doing above the bathtub. And it's going to be a focal point for this bathroom and I'm so excited. So I will see you on tomorrow's episode. Okay, this green in this bathroom is perfect. I absolutely love it. I didn't know what I was gonna think when it started to get applied, but it actually looks really nice. But Elisha, I think, has something that she needs to say. Hun, you got something to say? I mean, I'm not actually contemplating painting my kitchen cabinets this color. <laughs>